God bless you, fam. Let's talk about the Holy Spirit baptism. And I'm actually going to answer one of these questions. I recently just posted about how I got baptized five years ago, and my life changed ever since then. I've committed to uh, really serving God and serving the Lord. And it was really that radical transformation just through my decision to accept Jesus and publicly declare that, hey, I want to get baptized in the name of Jesus. So this person, they posted it publicly and they said, I have a question. I was baptized as a child in a Catholic church and it just recently fa recently found Jesus. I grew up knowing about God, but never actually formed a relationship with him. I'm curious to know if I need to be baptized again. I've heard a lot of people about how you can't be baptized twice, but I also heard that being baptized as a baby doesn't count as we aren't aware of our faith yet. I'm going to answer all this and supposedly the way the catholic church does it it isn't considered actual baptism because they don't submerge you in water they just put a little bit of water on your forehead i'm going back and forth on this subject i went to church when i was younger and i joined a youth group where they wanted me to get baptized and i got really excited but my family rejected that idea that idea now i'm 25 and had the need to be baptized again now that i found god's word i'm reading the bible and have formed a relationship with jesus i never want to go back to that lifestyle he saved me from i want to do these uh this it right this time praise the lord i actually I grew up Catholic as well. And whoever said that you can't get baptized twice, show me in the Bible where it says you can't get baptized twice. I've heard all these weird doctrines of you're, not, you're only supposed to get baptized one time. And it's to really hinder you from really experiencing the Lord. I did a whole podcast on just baptism. Let me just share you guys a couple verses. What I'm about to share you, and I'm about to share it, you can get baptized again. You can rededicate your life to Christ. You can get rebaptized. And I've had people that have been in the faith, they tell me, no, you can't get baptized twice. Show, you know, you, you, Jesus never got baptized twice. But I'm going to show you that there's people that got baptized again in the Holy Spirit. So there's people that got baptized into John's baptism, but others haven't got baptized in the Holy Spirit. And, I, and I'll show you in the book of Acts. It says this in Matthew 3.11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. This is John the Baptist, right? But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Now, I go a lot deeper in this in those episodes, so I'll probably link those below. But I really want to show you guys this. There's different types of baptisms, okay? There's different types of baptisms. There's a baptism of John, and there's a baptism of the Holy Spirit, according to what I read in the book of Acts. Now, there's two ways to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. And I'll show you guys right here in, in, in Scripture. Two ways. Number one is directly from heaven. You see that in Acts chapter 2. Suddenly, Acts 2.2, 2, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then appeared to them divided tongues as a fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Acts chapter 2 was them getting baptized in the Holy Spirit, and that happened directly from heaven. So the first way to get baptized in the Holy Spirit, one of the ways, according to what we read in Scripture, is in Acts 2, and that's directly from heaven. The second way that I'm about to show you guys that takes place is through the laying of hands. Acts 19, verse 6, And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Again, this is a second way that I'm seeing in Scripture that I'm, I'm revealing to you all that is through Scripture. Through the laying of hands is another way you can get baptized in the Holy Spirit. We just saw in Matthew chapter 3, and there's so many verses in uh, the New Testament. In every book, it, it says this exact same scripture. It is Jesus that baptized in the Holy Spirit, and it's John that baptizes with water onto repentance. Jesus with the Holy Spirit and fire. This is Matthew 3.11, John 1.3.3, 3, uh, Luke 3.16, and Mark 1.7 and 8. Again, this is scripture. I'm just giving you guys the context. If you guys want to go deeper, I'll link that uh, those teachings for the podcast below. Let me read Acts 19, 13. Uh, or I'm sorry, Acts chapter 19, verse 1. And it happened when Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what? Then were you baptized? So they said, it's a John's baptism. So these guys, people got baptized, but they don't even know the Holy Spirit. Yo, this is happening today. I literally had a dude ask me in one of my comments uh, when I just posted the the uh, the testimony of me getting baptized. He said, didn't you already get baptized in, in Catholic, in Catholicism? <laughs> and I, I'm literally, when I heard that, 
I, I reference back to Acts 19. This is the, the situation that came uh, uh, back to me. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism, into this denomination's baptism, into religion's baptism, right? Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that it is on Christ Jesus. Now, I'm not comparing John's baptism to the baptism from the Catholics. I'm definitely not. But I'm just sharing, sharing like this is what happened. It's like people that got baptized or think they got baptized. Like this person was like, didn't you already get baptized as a Catholic? But just because you got baptized doesn't mean you knew and believed and received the Holy Spirit. And that's what Apostle Paul is asking him in verse 2. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? <laughs> verse 5. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of of the Lord Jesus. That's what we got to we got to get baptized in Jesus name. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about 12 in all. Wow. And I see another uh encounter when they have the Holy Spirit. This is when Peter was speaking the word of God to them in Acts chapter 10 in the house of Cornelius. While Peter verse 44, Acts 10:44, while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon them those who heard the word. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, and as many came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then Peter answered, Can anybody forbid water that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then they asked him to stay a few days. Now, so much meat there. If you guys haven't read these scriptures or you not getting remembrance of these, go back. This is how to expand the, the church of Jesus Christ is looking at the book of Acts as a blueprint. And that's it. This is how to grow a church. This is our grow ministry. This is how to build off the foundation of Jesus Christ. The book of Acts church is what we're building modern day today. If you want to look for the blueprint on how to do it. So when I look at baptism, I'm looking at the book of Acts and what took place after Jesus did his ascension and the Holy Spirit fell fresh on the day of Pentecost in the book of Acts in Acts chapter two. Acts chapter one, Jesus showed up, let them know about this promise that will come from on high, right? And they tarried, they tarried until that day and waited until the Holy Spirit fell fresh on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter two. Crazy how all this happened. But I wanna share that you just saw, they're, they were like, no, we were in John's baptism. What is the Holy Spirit? Have we received the Holy Spirit? And Apostle Paul is like, I'm baptizing you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lays hands on them and they receive the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not against, you know, other people believing whatever they want to believe, but I, I am for what the Bible is. So I'm for what the book of Acts says. This is what the Bible says. This isn't my own doing. This isn't even my own teaching or my own doctrine. This is what they did in the book of Acts. And this is how it manifests today present in this moment and what's going on so there's two ways and really the third way we saw was in acts chapter 10 so acts chapter 2 directly from heaven the baptism of the holy spirit acts chapter 19 through the laying of hands apostle paul laid hands on them and these guys were believers i mean they they were it literally tells us in the scripture they were believers it says it happened while apollos was at corinth that paul have passed through the upper regions came to ephesus okay and finding some what disciples so he found disciples in Ephesus and they, he asked them, he's like, hey, have you received the Holy Spirit? They're like, what is that? Like, We got we got into John's baptism. We got into this person. We, we baptized you. You got baptized when you're a baby. Here's the thing. When we're young, as followers of Christ, we dedicate babies until they get to a point of reasoning where they can say, you know what? I want to do this myself. I have decided for myself. None of my family forced me. No friends forced me. Not my church didn't force me. I decided deep in my heart. And that's what I tell a lot of people even in our ministry. It's like, this is between you and God. We're not here to force you, but it's you publicly declaring, hey, I'm confessing that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I want to publicly declare this to the world. It's a public declaration. Okay. So, Show me in the scripture where it tells you to not get baptized twice because these guys just got baptized again. They were baptized onto John's baptism, onto repentance, but now they're getting baptized in the Holy Spirit. And you saw that. I gave you all the New Testament scriptures, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Don't ever let any demon, devil, wicked spirit, any other religion tell you that you can't get baptized again. This is between you and God. You're not going to be holding hands with your family, friends, other people. On the day of judgment day, they're not going to be with you, your spouse. It's just going to be you and Lord Jesus. So hopefully this gave you guys some uh, wisdom 
on baptism, there is a difference between the Holy Spirit baptism and just getting baptized with water. That's a whole nother revelation. I broke this down all in that podcast. Check those two episodes out. I'll link them below. It's uh, two separate episodes where I answer questions on baptism and then I go deeper on being born of water and the spirit of what John or John chapter three, what Jesus said to Nicodemus. So it's a lot deeper than what most people think. And again, this is Bible. This is also me studying what it, what it meant and what it says in Greek. And it was just a mighty revelation. God gave me a lot of peace. I've been asking a lot about this because I know baptism There's and, and the Holy Spirit, there's a lot of different doctrines out there, but I want what the Holy Spirit reveals and what the Bible actually says and the spiritual revelation that we can get from it. Be blessed, y'all. God bless you so much. Check those out. I got links, a lot of that. Learn about the Holy Spirit and watch God transform you. If God is putting in your heart to get baptized, do it. Because again, there's nowhere in scripture that says you cannot get baptized twice. And I'm not getting baptized into Catholicism, into any other type of denomination or religion. I'm getting baptized in Jesus name. Like he said, oh, are you part of Apollos? Are you part of Apostle Paul? You know, it's like everyone's trying to run gangs up in here. It's like, no, nah, we're all part of team Jesus, y'all. Team Jesus. I think denominations tr tend to divide, but we're all part of the kingdom. Amen. In Jesus name, take care.